is John Stewart. We have a fabulous show for you tonight. I'm not, you know what I'm not going to do tonight? I'm not going to overthink it. Honestly, I'm just going to come out here like Pacino at the Oscars. <laughs> I'm just going to mumble a few words there, and eventually you'll figure out what I was getting at. It's fine. <laughs> the big event we need to talk about it's the Oscars of politics. The State of the Union address last Thursday night. Joseph Raisinette Biden the 12th. <laughs> he had the unenviable task of having to lay out his vision for the nation whilst also demonstrating that he is not too old, not too tired to be the president of the United States and that he wouldn't rather just tie thousands of balloons to the White House and head to Paradise Falls. <laughs> And so, President Biden entered the House chamber, navigating through our divided Congress, and barely, barely, <laughs> barely getting past the bridge troll who guards the podium. What say you, sir? I say to the American people, when America gets knocked down, we get back up. My message to President Putin, who I've known for a long time, is simple. We will not walk away. Banning books. It's wrong. I say, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Pass universal background checks. Send me the border bill now. The state of our union is strong and getting stronger. Which one of you pricks wants to fight? <laughs> Put up your nukes. I know that all the haters have been out there talking their shit. He's too old. He's too weak. He can't make it. He won't be able to stand. Oh, I see you haters. I know who you are. <laughs> really? You know, we said in rehearsal, can you get me a prettier mirror? And boy... <laughs> Boy, did they deliver. That is... Of course, by the way, the State of the Union was just the Democratic message. Would that message survive... Would that message survive a concise and intelligent rebuttal? What happens? It happened on Thursday. I should read the whole thing, though. I should... Would it survive a concise and intelligent rebuttal from the GOP? <laughs> or whatever it was that Alabama Senator Katie Britt... <laughs> to the kitchen, Batman! Our families are hurting. Our country can do better. President Biden's border policies are a disgrace. Mr. President, enough is enough. End this crisis and stop the suffering. We see you, we hear you, and we stand with you. If you're, if you're going to stand with me, <laughs> could you stand a little bit further away? <laughs> I imagine one of her kids just came downstairs and was like, I'm sorry, Mom, I just came down to get a bowl of cereal. I didn't realize you were losing your f***ing mind. I'll come back when the zannies kick in.